What's going on guys? My name is Javier and thank you for coming to my channel. Today we have the beautiful Shea Metal with us. Hi guys. She is going to be our subject for today or our beautiful model for today and we're going to teach you about the inverse square law. If you have an actual white background, if you want to make it a light gray, a dark gray, or even black, we're going to show you how you do it without even changing the color of the paper, just by moving your light and moving your subject. So coming up, check it out. So in some of the shots that I'm doing with Shay right now, we literally have two rim lights, one hitting the left side of her and one hitting the right side of her. And I'm using a soft box. It's a 55 inch or maybe a 60 inch soft box right in the center at a 45 degree angle aiming down at her. And with this, you're gonna have the white background. And because of how far away I have my subject and my light, it's gonna be a little bit like a soft gray or like a light, light gray. Even though we're using the white backdrop, we have a light gray color coming out. And the reason is because the way that we have set up our light hitting our subject and then the fall off we have in the back, the light does not travel all the way to the back. This is something called the inverse square law. Now I'm not gonna go into a lot of details as far as how the mathematics of it works. I'm gonna put up a link over here. Peter Hurley with F-Stoppers did an amazing video that they went detail step by step exactly the reason why. If you want your background to say the same color to make it white, you either have to light it in white or if you have a different color, like say you have blue, you have green, you have orange, whatever color you want, you wanna keep it the same color, you actually have to have your light further away. So by the time it hits her and it hits the background, it stays the same color. Now, if you actually wanna change that, if you want your background to get darker, all you have to do is bring the light closer, lower the intensity of the light, because obviously bring it closer, it's gonna be really blown out on her. So the closer you bring the light, it's gonna hit her, but it's gonna be a dramatic fall off. So if I'm at F8 over here, by the time it gets here, it's gonna drop off completely. So it's gonna get darker. If I want my background to be like that light gray, I actually have my light right now about like six feet away from her. If I want it to be darker, I'm gonna bring the light closer to her, maybe three feet. And by the time it hits her, it's gonna drop off even faster. If I want my background to be even like a dark, dark gray or even a black, now nah, I'm gonna have to have some space behind her, but I'm gonna have the light as close as possible to her. And then the fall off is gonna be a lot greater. So we're gonna demonstrate that now. We're gonna show you that right now, these shots that I just did was six feet away and I have a light gray background. Now I'm gonna bring the light closer, almost three feet away from her and you're gonna see how it changes. She's not gonna move, but the background is gonna change colors. So if you notice on these shots, I didn't do anything but move the light closer to her. So by moving the light closer to her, the background got darker. And the reason for that was because the light fall off is so much quicker that it is hitting her perfectly exposed, but it falls off so dramatic that it becomes darker in the background. And again, I moved the light closer to her. So right now it's about three feet away from my subject. And the background actually got a little bit darker. Actually, I'm gonna have you walk forward now. So now what I did is instead of moving the light closer to her, I actually had her walk closer. So essentially it's the same thing. She got closer to the light and now she's about maybe a foot and a half to two feet away from the light. So now the background got even darker just because I got her closer to my light. So now let's take it to the next level and make it really, really dark in the background. So now we actually had her walk further away from the background and look at how much darker now the background became. So I hope this little tip helped you out. Thank you so much, Shay, for coming out and being our beautiful model and subject. No, thank you. <laughs> so you can catch her. She has an amazing Instagram, her Facebook. She's going to start doing her YouTube channel now. So she's an awesome girl, great model. She does Monster Aww. Energy drinks. So thank you, you want to see some behind the scenes of all the crazy stuff that she does and what she is a part of, we're going to link it all below. So if you guys got any comments, questions, or concerns, please let us know, and we will catch you in the next one.